Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a pre-trial hearing where a sovereign citizen, well, decides he wants to go pro se. And the judge, well, agrees with them, but there is a little snag at the end with the sovereign citizen as he uh, tends to run his mouth way too much to the judge. And, well, the judge has a little surprise for him at the end. So let's go ahead and we'll sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Mr. Baker, you're before the court day for your uh, arraignment. And let's see. You're not. Have you hired an attorney? No, sir. Do you plan on hiring one? No, sir. Are you going to represent yourself or do you wish yes, to have sir. a public defender to represent you? No, sir. I'm going to represent myself. All right. You're before the court today for your arraignment. You've been charged by way of an information with possession of a, a cocaine. Possession of a controlled substance, but count one and two. Those are both third degree felonies, punched with the five years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $5,000 fine. You have a count three, which is fleeing or attempting to elude high speed reckless. I believe that should be a second degree felony, punched with the 15 years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $10,000 fine. Count Four is drive my license, counsel, suspend, or revoke third or subsequent defense. That's a third degree felony punch with the five years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $5,000 fine. And count five possession of marijuana less than 20 grams, which is a first degree misdemeanor punch with one year in the county jail and a $1,000 fine. So you're looking at a total of about 30 years in the Florida Department of Corrections if you're convicted of everything and you get the maximum sentence. And you're still wishing to represent yourself? Yes, sir. Or if you'll raise your right hand to be sworn in. Yes, sir. All right, Miss Baker, state your name. Lee Baker. And Mr. Baker, you have asked to represent yourself. Is that correct? Yes. How far did you get in school? Uh, ninth grade. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, ninth grade. Uh, now, I'm not knocking uh, his uh, grade level, but, you know, it might be wise for him to hire an attorney because... An attorney has actually been educated in the law, which is far above the ninth grade level, dude. Because, you know, you are facing 30 years behind bars. And if you screw up, well, you're done. You're pretty much done. And so you can read and write? Yes. Okay. Are you employed? <coughs> no, sir. All right. How do you make a living? I'm unemployed right now. I was living with someone else. Sir? I'm unemployed. I was living with someone else. I just got out of jail about five months ago. Okay. Well, what is your uh, trade? I have my own business. All right, what kind of business? A cleaning business. Okay. And uh, have you ever represented yourself before? Yes. All right. Uh, see, so are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol today, which would affect your ability to enter the, to uh, make this decision to represent yourself? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness that would affect your ability to uh, no, enter, to make this decision? No. All right. You understand that attorneys are trained in the rules of evidence, criminal procedure, and the law, and they're there to assist you in preparing for pretrial motions, preparing for uh, uh, pretrial mo uh, hearings, and, dis and to participate in discovery, and also preparing for trial. I comprehend that very well. Ah, there goes a tip of the sovereign citizen iceberg right there. You notice he slipped in. I comprehend that very well because most sovereign citizens in this situation uh, tend to use that word instead of I understand because they believe the word understand means to stand under that person, which is not true whatsoever. I mean, that's just something they made up so they can play word games with the judges and everything like that. But it generally doesn't work out for them anyway. All right, and sir, you understand that if you're representing yourself, you'll be held to that same standard. I comprehend that. All right, and I cannot, and I cannot assist you in any way. The state attorney would not be able to assist you in any way. Is that correct? I'm a, I comprehend. All right, and you still wish to represent yourself? Yes. All right, you've been, Madam Clerk, if you'll print out the information, and Deputy Dexter, it's okay if, if the clerk hands the information to uh, uh, Mr. Baker? All right, Madam Clerk, if you'll do that. Mr. Baker, when you receive that information, I'm going to ask that you enter a plea at this time. 
I like the uh, five two motions on the record as well. So I, I want to do your arraignment first. All right. What? No, thirty minutes of arguing or anything like that about the constitutionality of this court or something like that. You must be fairly new to the game because you just gave up too quickly on that one, or you are just not really a committed person to the cause. All right, whenever you're ready, you'll let me know and you enter, enter your plea. I end up plea or not guilty. Okay. All right, you're filing motions? Yes, sir. I got a. I you gotta, have copies for the state? Yes, I do. Okay. I got a uh, declaratory uh, judgment, and I have. I want to furnish this this bond to the to the clerk. You file it. Go ahead. For my uh for my release from the Bay County Jail today. Okay. That's the declaratory judgment. That's for the clerk only. Now you providing a copy of the state, everything you give the clerk. The uh the bond, I, I shall have to give the bond. The bond goes straight to the clerk. The Anything you file that you want me to consider, you have to provide a copy to the state, sir. As you're representing yourself, you have to know those rules. If you don't, you're gonna mess I understand up. Understand that. If but... you're not providing to the state, I'm not gonna consider it. Okay. And the clerk is the clerk doesn't make any determinations on that. All they all the clerk determines is whether you're in it or not. I'm not talking about the bond for the, the debt to debt to judgment. I'm talking about the bond for the clerk to release me today. I filed my uh my eligible obligation. What are you clerk. talking about? Sir? What are you talking about? I'm talking about an eligible mm -hmm. obligation. Oh, on the USCA. Oh, you talking all that kind of stuff. I'm striking all that and uh if I hear it again, I'm not going to let you represent yourself. I promise you. Uh, I mean, he's already entered a not guilty plea. We'll set this for a free trial. We'll set it for a... Don't ask me any questions like that, sir. I'm not answering any questions. If you want to file a motion, file your motion. We'll set it for our December... When's that motion day in December? December 19th. December 19th at 9 o'clock. Sir, you, sir, you may... If you're going to do the sovereign citizen and all that, you may want to consider... Uh, having the attorney, I'm, I'm a private citizen, sir. I'm not a sovereign citizen. I'm a private citizen. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> uh, dude, you do realize that's just another euphemism for a sovereign citizen uh, that you guys have picked up. We all know the little game you like to play because you want to disassociate yourself from the term sovereign citizen because it has become synonymous with terrorism and uh, the government is starting to crack down on idiots that want to pretend that they are a sovereign citizen and above the law so yeah i can understand why you want to distance yourself from that listen to me if you're going if you're going to if you're going to pursue that you may want to reconsider uh representing yourself no, sir. But I'm not going to pay attention to any of that, and I'm going to strike all that. Okay. So we'll see you no December problem. 19th at 9 o'clock. It's no problem. Oh. That's enough. I don't want to hear another word. Okay, I'd like to also... Another one? I don't want to hear another word. No, put him out. Put your hands on me like that. Hush. Get him out of the courtroom. I don't want to hear another word. Mr. I just heard another word, Mr. Baker. Hush. Whoa. Mr. Baker, I'm going to appoint the Office of Public Defender to represent you. I'm going to find that you're not competent to represent yourself at this time. I'm going to reverse my decision. The Office of Public Defender is, is going to represent him. We'll keep it on that December 19th date. I just did. All right. Who's ready? Well, that was pretty awesome of the judge. He didn't tolerate that one bit. He shut that right down quick, fast, in a hurry. We definitely need more like him because we don't need these sovtards slowing down the process more than it already has been. So bravo, judge. Bravo. Good job. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?